Hello, CAA Facebook fans. We have a three-quarter, five-eighths uh, broom to take a look at. And Greg Cutler is here with us. And this is his vehicle. So, Greg, you want to tell us about this one? Well, it's made by Healy in New York. Um, we guess somewhere about 1890 to 1900 and it's in original condition it's never been restored I, I think we want to leave it that way we're trying to conserve it um, it's basically in good sound condition and it's drivable except the rubber tires have some kind of flat spots from when they sat on the ground for a long time before we obtained the vehicle and it's just a really cute vehicle and just the right size for our ponies so thank you so much Greg so we're gonna take a quick look around it and uh, see it. it so just how tall do you think this is five five ten or maybe, I don't know I'm okay five, ten, so to give you an yeah I. so get, to give you an idea of just how tall this is so uh, we think it's about five ten and so it's really something um, this one I can very easily show you the roof which I, I like <laughs> Um, usually we can't, I have to hop in the air. Um, so that's fantastic. Let's take a look inside. Now Greg was telling me that the, both doors still have the pull. Um, so the fabric that hangs down in the middle over here, right, right here, um, that is for the window. So you let the window slide down into the groove. And then when you're ready to uh, pull the window back up, you would pull the fabric. And there's an attachment here and on the fabric i'll show you on this one this attaches to the window and when it's uh, when the window is closed it it attaches here so you could then, really have a three-quarter yeah, down window right you could lower it part way and if you lower it all the way there's a, a lower spot down below and then this would stick out uh, when it was lowered completely, and if you wanted to raise it, then you just pull it up and oh, okay. fasten it. And Fantastic. It's ready to go. And just out of curiosity, I see that this does have um, holders for the lamps. Yes. Do you and have, we have lamps? Do you? Um, so they would be working lamps. They're not real ornate. Um, they're probably black in color. They're black candle lamps, and the. The bases of them are painted. Okay, so just I know uh, we're here with the entire group of the CAA, and I know the noise just picked up. Uh, so those are black lamps. Uh, they do have a candle in them um, because this is a working vehicle, a more formal vehicle. They would be painted black. So this was designed to be servant driven, and this goes with a pair of horses. So um, now, do we know? Um, obviously, if it's a three-quarter, five-eighths size vehicle, it's not going to be pulled by a full set of Dutch warm bloods or something. It's for do we, ponies. Do we have, um, yeah. so hackneys probably, or? Could have been hackneys. Okay. I mean, you know, it's a pretty fancy vehicle yes. for a town. You might expect some hackneys to be pulling. Okay. Fancy ponies. And um, as you can see here on the sign, uh, this was the type of carriage a wealthy couple would ride in to go to a play or to the opera. We're going to just take a quick look around the front. We really appreciate Greg and Jody sharing this with us. And you can see, here's the, this is the brake. And so here's all the groups where you can put the brake in. And in a quality control, so rather than get wear spots on your seat, you have a little groove here so that it fits in nicely. <gasps> it has a bell! It does. And you can ring the bell from inside. There's a little panel back there. Oh, I see it! So on the far side there, you see the little metal piece? That's the bell handle. And then down there is the actual bell. And so you could let the servant know that you wanted something. And 
the windows, the front windows also open, same mechanism. So you could open your windows to talk to him. Um, some of the ones that we've looked at have tubes that go around um, so that he could hear you, but in this case, you would open them. Um, that is such a great feature to have the bell still there. And then, and there there, yes, the so you can just barely see it, but right here, this is um, part of the curtains, and so they would pull down, and, and they're essentially shades, um, and these windows would drop down as well. You can see here how we have, um, again, the material to hold it up, and there seems to be a little something here. Is this a dash? Uh, yeah, I think there's a, a little... Uh, Open space. Uh, kind of a glove box. Fantastic. So if you needed to, you know, put your gloves on or something, or I'm assuming that you would not be putting your makeup on on that spot. Um, now I know some vehicles they would uh, have essentially a drink set with them. Would that be something that a brome would have because it would be more of a social vehicle? Okay. Um, lovely, lovely curve down here on the bottom. You can see. And let's just look at the wheels. Greg was talking about this earlier. And we'll just take a closer look because we, we can. This is where they've been sitting for too long in one spot. And this is why we talk about rotating the wheel. Um, this often happens in a museum or something of that nature. Boy, that wheel is still very solid. Yes. Very drivable. They're in really good shape. Yes. The, the craftsmanship on this vehicle is really excellent. And I like to have people who are non-carriage people come up and open and close the door and remind them that this vehicle was made with hand tools. Yes. And, I mean, the door just is just so solid. Wow, that is. I mean, it it, it sounds like quality. Yeah. Yes. So. Whoop, yes. Go ahead. Since you would be driving in town, and there might be dirty streets, and the step could get dirty, there's a cover that goes over the step, and when you open the door, it exposes the step. Yes. Yeah, so your lady slippers would not get dirty. Absolutely. Yes. And this is a. This is a felt or a plush? I don't know. Mm. So, it, it or a, I'm sorry, a wool. Is wool is what it's I meant. Wool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, sorry, I don't know why I said plush, but it is a fabulous vehicle. And just in case you didn't hear at the beginning, uh, this was a Healy. It was built in New York City about 1890. It was designed to be driven by a servant with a pair of horses. Um, because it is a three quarters to five eighths, it would be ponies, probably a fancy moving set of ponies. And it is the type of vehicle that they would have gone out to a play or an opera or something like that. And it is just absolutely fabulous. We're going to put our uh, camera down underneath it, but we really want to thank Greg and Jody for letting us come and visit them today and share with you this vehicle. It is just really nice. So we'll take a look real quick down here. Nice fifth, the fifth wheel is even in nice condition and you can see like sometimes these are not as nicely curved and taken care of and even you can have a little detail here. And that's just you know, one of those things with quality that you get. So. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great time, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Okay.